Hey guys, so today we are asking the question, what is body fat? So this is a one pound replica of body fat or what it might look like. So if you see me waving this around, that's what that is. So first things first, body fat is our body's secondary energy source. Our first energy source would be things like carbohydrates and proteins and the fats would be a secondary energy source. So that first energy source are the things that we eat. So when you have your breakfast, your lunch, your dinner, that is the immediate energy source that we use when we exercise and when we need calories to burn. If you were to exercise or not eat for a day, your body would have to tuck into its secondary energy source and that is body fat. So when we eat throughout the day, and we take in those calories, if we don't use them, what happens is your body will save them for later and essentially put that into what I like to think of as the body fat bank. It goes into your savings account and then when you're a little bit short day to day, it will pop them back in. So a lot of the time when you start a new fitness regime, you're usually thinking that you need to lose a little bit of weight. And it's important to remember what that actually means because if we just lose weight, we're not really thinking about what that weight is made up of, we're just looking at numbers on a scale. So it's important to remember that body fat plays a big part in what our body looks like overall. And that is usually the main factor that you're looking to lose when you think about weight loss. Now another important thing to think about when you're thinking about losing weight and body fat reduction is that there is a certain amount of body fat that we need to be a healthy functioning human. Men need a lot less than women and the reason for that is because women need more body fat for hormone production. So whereas men can reduce their body fat down to say three to four percent, women can only reduce to around 10 to 12 percent at the absolute minimum. So body fat is our secondary energy source and the food that we eat is our initial energy source. But in the world of dieting and fitness, fats as in the food group can often get a bad reputation and people sometimes seek to cut them out completely. But that is not ideal. We still need a certain amount of fats in our diet that we consume to help absorb things like vitamins and minerals and be all round healthy. So we shouldn't try and avoid fat to lose fat. What we should do is look at our overall calorie intake versus expenditure. Because if you're burning more than you've consumed in calories, then you're gonna be in a deficit. But if you're consuming more than you expend, you're gonna be in a surplus. And if you're in a surplus, that's when you have that extra energy, so those extra calories left over in a day, and they're gonna be taken to that body fat bank that we talked about earlier. So again, if we think about our calories as a source of income, let's say, it's a little bit easier to think of in that respect. That's why I use the analogy of the body fat bank. So, if I've eaten too many calories or more calories than I have burnt in a day, so if I haven't had any exercise for a day and I've still eaten the same amount as I would when I'm exercising, I'm gonna have a little store of calories left over. So let's imagine this is our calories that are extra. Now, if tomorrow I exercise and I eat the same amount of food as I would, then I will burn probably a little bit of these excess calories off. And then the next day, if the same thing happens, so say, you know, I'm in a slight deficit by 100 calories, this little extra might disappear. And then my savings account for body fat will be empty again. But if I have, let's say Friday night, I go out, I eat a little bit more than I usually would, I put some money into that body fat bank, and that's gonna hover there. If Saturday, I do the same thing again, I don't really move too much throughout the day, I eat the same amount of calories as I would when I'm exercising, at the end of the day, maybe a little bit more goes in. And then if Sunday the same thing happens, that's when this little body fat bank, we make a little deposit and we put that into our savings. And that is when we put on body fat. And if that continues over a long period of time, that's when we can lead to gaining in weight. Now the other form of weight that you can also gain is muscle mass, but that is beneficial because muscle mass 
burns those extra calories. So even on days when you aren't doing as much exercise, it will help you maintain your calories at a even level or it will maintain your deficit. So guys, hopefully me and my little fat replica have helped you understand a little bit more about what body fat actually is and help you to understand why we don't talk about weight loss as an important thing in Lean In 60. We talk about body fat reduction and muscle mass gain. Sometimes gaining weight is a good thing, but body fat reduction is what it's all about. We want to lose this stuff. See you later, guys.